The first time in the history of Kenyan elections, the Ministry of Education certification agencies, among them the National Examinations Council, the Commission for University Education, will be checking and confirming academic credentials of aspirants intending to vie during this year's general election. This is a departure from the past where aspirants presented their academic papers directly to IEBC, which lacks the capacity to verify the authenticity of the same. Those agencies will be part of a Chapter 6 working group which has been mandated to clear candidates who meet, among others, academic and integrity requirements before securing IEBC clearance to contest in the upcoming general election. I mean, in the past, uh, what we had is a situation where candidates present these documents to IBC direct. And uh, as a result, IBC was not able to verify whether they are genuine or not. And that's why we have come up with this Chapter 6 working group, so that I believe one of the things we shall be telling them, without preempting what the working group, I mean the technical committee we have appointed to come up with, is that let candidates have verification done in good time. So that at the stage of presenting to IBC, we shall have representatives from each of these state agencies there as well to help us verify those documents. And that's what is going to be different. And it's not just the uh, Ministry of Education, it's all the other state agencies uh, which are involved, which were actually itemized yesterday in the publication. Mr. Chairman, I want to assure you and your commission that we will be at your disposal on this matter. We are going to put together a team that will be available to you 24-7 basis to assist you to process uh, whatever credentials that you need to process as it were. Where we raise doubts, we will explain why. And where we find documents that are not genuine, we will not only tell you that they are not genuine, but I promise that we will immediately also liaise with the Criminal Investigation Department because those people who will be presenting documents that are genuine are essentially fraudulent. And the fraudulent people have got a group of people who should deal with them called CID and the police. So we will do that promptly. It is one way of reading ourselves of nonsense, you know, from among us ourselves. You know, people who are interested in enhancing fraud uh, in our education system uh, in the country.